for some live music, I'm going to bring out uh, our band for this evening. Before we do, let's say hello and have a chat with their front man. Of course, the band is Blur. Please welcome Mr. Damon Auburn. <laughs> We could have done country there, but look, you know, it went with an obscure one. Damon Auburn, ladies and gentlemen. That's a track from uh, the current album, of course, that the boys performed there. I don't know if you... Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Damon, thanks for coming on the show, and thanks for talking to me, because we were chatting earlier, and, excuse me, I'm repeating some bounty bars coming up there. Well, no, I, ca I, I came in and told you that I've never done a chat show before. Never done a UK uh, talk show before? No. Why, why not before? Why, why, uh... Because, you know, I kind of find them a bit sort of uh, pure. <laughs> Certainly no one can accuse us of being pure. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'm here. <laughs> now you're regretting it already. Uh, look, look at the state of you, Damon. What's going on here? Now, well, you, you've made some money. You're not a student anymore. Why are you dressing like one? Well, do you know what? I have to say, I've kind of been watching you, you know, adoringly, mm -hmm. behind the stage. And um, I think you're looking quite reserved tonight. I wonder why. Well, because you're getting to a certain age, you know. Is there something kind of sort of changed in your life? You think I'm changing? No, I know. Has something changed in your life? You're kind of getting more reserved. To no, not really. I mean, I think... More felt. I think um, what's happening is the fitter man within is coming out. <laughs> you know, I've realised that I've only a limited number of years left at the very top of the tree. So, uh, and there's the alpha male here at the BBC. I owe it to my followers to keep myself in trim. Now, you know, I'm aware I just, of your mortality. Then. Actually, what it is, genuinely, yeah, I was thinking for the sake of my kids and for my wife and for myself, really, I'd like to be around for as long as possible. And for the sake of the viewers, obviously. Well, that's fair enough. That's good. You know, for you, you go, you leave a few, a few fans behind. I leave millions. <laughs> um, your last album, genuinely, I loved it. Think Tank. I think it was probably, uh, I, and I don't know how many people have heard it yet. I mean, it's been out for a while, but I think it was the kind of most. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? The com most complete album, the most cohesive album. Yeah, I mean, uh, listen to Nigella say how she does what she does, she doesn't think about it too much. I think with that record, that was the case, really. We just accepted that that's what we do. So on, on some of the other ones, what, you were trying too hard or you were... You... Probably, sometimes. But I think that's just uh, that's a youthful thing you want to uh, impress. Um, now, let me ask you about Graham, because Graham's not in the band anymore. Graham Compton. No. I know he's done a couple of solo things. Um, do you know why he left? I mean, what actually happened, Nick? You've got lovely eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're drunk, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you do, do you, do you not want to talk about Graham? You don't want to talk oh, about no, him? I don't mind talking about him. I mean, you know, I, I, I went to school with him. I've known him since he was 11. Yeah, and you're still the... very fond of him, aren't you? Absolutely. So what actually happened, do you know? I think he wanted to do, wanted to do his own thing. and I mean, I, I think we all... We all f would like to think that at some point, you know, we could get back together and make another record. I know you're kind of keen. You've left the door wide open for money. Absolutely. Let me ask you about Gorillaz, because Gorillaz was the project you did away from the rest of Blur. Yeah. Okay? And uh, the Gorillaz album, which was, once again, <coughs> fabulous, sold an incredible, something like six, seven million copies or something. Something like that. Ludicrous like that. Uh, I imagine probably bigger than any Blur album has ever been. Yeah. Wow. So the other guys must be delighted that you're back with them right now. <laughs> As opposed to off doing Gorillaz number two, I would have thought. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but was there, when you went off to do your own thing, was there a moment where they thought, well, you know, that's goodbye to Damon, there goes the old cash cow. Well, it was... <laughs> you know, there goes the gravy train with the biscuit wheels. Old Dave's got to go start working back at Blossbusters again, and Alex, you know. <laughs> well, I don't know what yeah, he they ever they did they before. Look after himself. Pretty boy over there. Um, but you performed live. I saw you performing live, which was a weird thing, because you were behind you were, the... I have to say, to this man's credit, you are uh, an avid music fan. I'm a genuine music lover. And you were at the front of the, uh, the mosh pit at the Scala. <laughs> I know how to mosh. I don't know what it means, you, but I know how to do it. You didn't, you didn't exactly kind of sort of, sort of blend in, but, no. you know. I was wearing... Uh, you were when there. people were laughing, I was wearing red Gautier lounging pants. <laughs> That's what I mean. Look at you. You're so well, reserved I these don't days. Know what What's happened to you? <laughs> That's for gigs. Um, <laughs> but it was weird seeing this gig live, the gorilla thing, uh, because it was you guys were behind a screen. It was like shadows being projected and then animation. Um, but it was somehow, it was very exciting as well. Because it, it, was felt like it was brilliant. Being new. behind the screen was a fantastic Kind thing. of liberating for you, I felt. Well, you can do what you like, you know. You can be like, 
you know, you can, you, can, you, you can strike any kind of sort of silhouette you like. Yeah. Um, Blur are going to be touring uh, later this year. It's uh, kicking off pretty soon. I know you've already done some dates in Europe, haven't you? You haven't mentioned that, that, that we both come from Leytonstone. I was really hoping you'd kind of well, talk we about can, that. Well, we can do that if you want. Well, I just, you know... We're from Leytonstone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrific songwriter. The Universal I love. Many other songs as well. Uh, what are you going to play for this evening? Good song. Uh, this is the new single. Good song. Uh, I think, apart from We've Got a File on You, this was my favourite track on the album. I'm delighted it's coming out single. Do you worry That's about whether stuff sells well, whether it does well, whether people buy it, or does that not really bother you? It's definitely more important to do something you, that you're really, really in love with. Yeah. And then if you sell some records, then that's bleeding marvellous, mate. <laughs> I don't want to worry you, but Oasis are bringing their new single out on the same day. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> For a moment, you actually look genuinely concerned. <laughs> it was like 1995 all over again, or whenever it was. Uh, Damon, thank you so much for coming on. I know this isn't your, your favourite kind of thing to do. And well, I'll go and play a song now. It was great. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Damon Albarn. Thank you.